Mark your calendars, guys. Today is the day that video creation changes forever because of AI technology. AI technology has this incredible ability to just redefine the creative process as a whole. And I haven't seen a single platform up until this point that actually is ground up AI first, wrapping those understandings into the product itself. LTX Studio launches today and I've been playing around with it. <laughs> and actually you might be wondering why I have a spoon for a microphone and I'm in a hotel room. It's because LTX brought me out to New York City for their launch party. I've had a lot of time to talk with the team behind LTX Studio and talk about the future of creative expression in regards to AI. So yes, technically this is sponsored, but don't click off just yet because I promise you every word that comes out of my mouth is my own thoughts. This is how I feel about the technology. This is where I see it's going. So let's dive into the weeds a little bit. Up until this point, we started off video creation with Runway ML. That was the first big video generator. The tools were okay, but it didn't really get us to the full story creation process. Don't get me wrong, it was great for the time, but the interface really was just to facilitate the underlying technology and nothing more. The very idea of the creation process itself wasn't baked into the app. Pika Labs then comes out with Pika 1.0, which is a little bit better, I think. Still not groundbreaking, though, in terms of actual creation. You know, we want to do more than just make a few clips and stitch them together in a separate editor. We want to do everything right in the app itself. Finally, that's where LTX Studio comes in. It's all done on the platform itself from storyboarding to fine-tuning your shots to get them perfect, creating characters, doing the voiceover, the music, the sound effects, it's all in there. And it's still in beta, so it's going to change very rapidly with some new features coming down the line this summer. It's created a lot of buzz because it is the future. I think we can all feel the value that AI technology brings. And LTX Studio just so happens to be the first platform to actually start to extrapolate more of that value than anyone else has been able to up until this point. Let's talk about our first groundbreaking feature that really demonstrates the AI first ground up thinking that LTX possesses. When you first open up the interface, it's a prompt box. We do prompt to storyboard. Again, it's centralized around this idea of actually creating. You can type in anything. Man gets lost in the woods. Generates that immediately. We get our characters. We get our scenes. We get all of our individual shots. And the AI is able to understand the contextual background behind why each shot exists and for what purpose it serves. And of course, a part of LTX Studio is the creative freedom, so you do have the ability to delete scenes and shots and change characters, all that stuff. Adjust lighting on a per scene base Basis, adjust the overall style on a per scene basis, and this ability to have a macro view and adjust entire scene properties at once, like the setting or the lighting, gives you a really fast, again, AI ground up first thinking of how we tackle story creation. You know, if I have a character who is having an emotional scene where, where they're crying or something, will it look better with the sunset? Will it look better if they're in the desert or on the beach or on the moon? Who knows? All these exploratory options are suddenly available to us in ways that we never would have thought of before because the platform didn't immediately bring it to our attention. And I really, really like that idea. This is not something you're going to see on other AI video platforms. LTX Studio is less focused on the AI models themselves and more focused on how do we actually utilize the value that these models provide. So as we explore LTX today, I want you guys to remember that you can plug any video model into this, whether it be Sora AI, Pika Labs, Runway ML. Technically speaking, they could all be plugged right into LTX Studio. So this gives LTX Studio the ability to morph very quickly as this technology evolves. I mean, I've heard from quite a few people that they think open source Sora level models are going to be available by the end of this year. So imagine those combined with LTX. Back to the storyboard feature, the process for creators is vastly simplified. It's much easier to iterate and think about the story as a whole when we can just jot an idea down get a visualization for the rest of it, and work from there. It's at the core of LTX, and I think it's a fantastic feature. My one gripe with the storyboard feature is I wish they actually had a little bit more of the ideation process inside of LTX. I did find myself wanting to go to chat GPT to brainstorm ideas first and then bring them into LTX, so I'd like to see that just combined right into LTX in the first place. So storyboard mode is awesome. It's this macro view with these macro controls, and then we 
we get into scene control in this scene editor. This is where we can edit individual scenes and make adjustments on a micro scale, a much more zoomed in scale. And this is important for creative control. A lot of times we'll have these visualizations in our head, right, of how something is supposed to look. And it'll actually be pretty detailed. You might want to do some in painting or erase something from the scene that was generated to get it to your ideal method. Or maybe, you know, the built-in tools of LTX aren't working in your favor right now, so they do have the option of actually getting your own photo that you might have taken, or generating a photo with another AI image generator and just dropping it right in and using that instead. And don't get me started on all the controls they have for different types of motion, camera angles, and of course lighting and style control on an individual shot level basis. And I love that. I love the fact that it can do everything automatically for you, but if you want to change things at this very specific detailed level, they're giving us those tools as well. And by the way, LTX Studio is in beta, so this is going to progress further. As these models and as this AI video generation technology progresses, we're going to see LTX Studio only get more and more powerful because it's not inherently reliant on their own models. Any model can be plugged into this interface for building and creating stories with AI video. So moving on, let's talk about an elephant in the room. One of many when it comes to AI image or video creation, and that is character consistency. It's a bit of a problem since the inception of this technology. Now, the good thing is that LTX Studio does indeed have a solution for the problem of character consistency. With the built-in video generation models, you can do instant character creation, and those characters can actually be tagged in any of the prompts, and they will appear in the video consistently with the same facial features, the same hair, the same clothing, etc. Which is pretty darn cool. And of course, they also have voices provided by Eleven Labs that are attached onto those individual characters. The heart has its reasons which reason knows not of. Now, I will say this feature is not perfect. It's pretty darn good and it works great for humans, but if you wanted to do character consistency with something like an anthropomorphic lemon, AKA, you know, my logo, that's not something that we have just yet. Obviously, you know, this thing's still in beta. It's something they're working on. So hopefully we'll see features that allow for consistent characters that are non-human. But for now, the character consistency really lies within humanoids. I think the reason that they have this feature so early too, because obviously consistent characters are a struggle with other video creation platforms that utilize AI is because, again, this is a ground-up thinking of how do we implement AI with storytelling. You need to have a consistent character to tell a story. If your character's changing every scene, how are you supposed to do consistency? So I'm glad to see that this is something they're focused on. And like I said, I hope that they seriously expand on this feature because, man, I would love to get some <laughs> weird and funky characters involved in my LTX generated stories. Now they do have some broader features like the ability to export your, your files and just generate them all as one story, which is cool. Instead of, you know, downloading all the clips individually and putting them in your own editing software. I did find on, you know, the larger scale editing side of things, not entirely fleshed out yet. You can't trim your clips, which is a little disappointing. And while you can generate up to five seconds of video, I'd like to see 10 seconds shots because a lot of shots I found I needed just a little bit more length to get the pacing of the story just right. But of course, you know, like I said, LTX is in beta. This is stuff that they're working on. They are at the stage right now where they just want some feedback from AI enthusiasts on how to make it a better platform for video creation with AI. All the features that I'm discussing, if, if it's something that you want as well, don't worry. I'm on your side, I'm, I've been talking to them about the features that I think you guys as creators want and the things that I've personally noticed. So they're very much involved with the community and they want feedback from people like you, which is a great way to go about creating something like this. If there's anything I've found so far, AI enthusiasts know what they want. And guys, let's talk about the small scale future and the large scale future for AI video creation, because that context is just so important for understanding where this is all headed. Like I said, LTX does ground up thinking. It's different from other platforms in this regard. I think even different from something maybe one of the larger video creation platforms would produce. It's AI first, and that is going to open the doors. Almost the whole time I was using LTX, I was thinking about how amazing it would be to have a Sora level video generator directly implemented in the platform. And I think the value of this platform can only increase as these models get better. So by the end of this year, I think 
this beast could be entirely different from the way it is now, just because the models and the technology has improved that much with AI. I think as this platform evolves too, you'll be able to make fully featured films in just a few years, all directly inside of LTX Studio. And of course, it'll be made a lot easier because it is that ground up AI first thinking. The controls are intuitive yet non-traditional because we have to rethink our tools for AI technologies. And if we look at things on this big, large macro scale, we can start to imagine a future where all the videos are actually generated almost in real time because hardware and software has advanced that much. So maybe we'll have something inside of LTX Studio that would be a prompt to movie feature where we just give it a little bit of a prompt. It asks us a few specific questions about the direction that we want the movie to go in and then it just generates the entire movie. And that's that's a little bit more long term, but I think it's possible. It all starts today. So the waitlist will be linked down in the description below. Like I said, people are starting to get off the waitlist and actually get access to the platform. And I'm going to be doing a very much in-depth tutorial style how to get the most out of the platform video later in April, but I encourage you guys to go ahead and check out the link in the description below and tell me what you think of the platform. You know, let's get some feedback going. I think it's up to us users, it's up to us creators to provide that direction of AI first thinking. Like, here's the tools that we want to see. Here's the way that you should utilize the AI technology to make this even better. I don't think that creatives and creators should be scared of this technology. Technology. I think it's going to be a liberation and a democratization of creative expression as a whole. I would have killed for something like this when I was 12 years old. This would have been a miracle to me because I was I would have been able to express all of these super creative young ideas that I had immediately within seconds into this platform. Young, old, doesn't matter what your background is, you're going to be able to express yourself in a very nuanced and creative way without the hindrance of cost, audio and video skill, editing skill, all of the above. It's going to be amazing to see how people express themselves utilizing technology like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.